Absolutely. Yes, hair. <laughs> oh, we're back. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live as we continue to kick off the first day of Black Music Month. Yay! We want to dive into a conversation about music and money. And joining the circle today to break it all down is my agent. She's an author and educator, and she also happens to be my sister. <laughs> Dr. Zalisha, how can it be? Hey, 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 you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You <laughs> I'm the smartest. I, I don't know. I'm 25, she's 21, and well, Celette is 27. Here we go. Nice. nice. Welcome, Dr. I'm Celeste. so excited. To the circle. Finally, yes. like, oh my God. Come on down so, to the circle. Right. So, Doc, we got to ask you a couple questions. You ready? <laughs> Your debut. Right. But, so, how did you get into the music industry? And with the law and the things that are recently have gone, why have you stayed in the industry? Mm -hmm. okay. That's a great question. Well, it's interesting because I actually got into the industry because Selena's business manager was fired mm -hmm. by her. <laughs> and I had to take over because, you know, when you're the MBA in the family, the doctorate sure. degree person in the family, everybody makes you do stuff. You know everything. So I started off as business manager and then I went into road management and my first tour with her was the R. Kelly TP2 tour. Right. And I was like, oh, this is fun. You could travel and I love music, so. Mm -hmm. But it was by force. Yeah. By force. <laughs> did, did it take you a long time to adjust being with the dynamics of sisterhood and then business? Um, not really. Like, if she got on my nerves, I would just be like, I'm telling Ma. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. Oh, my gosh. Gosh. So I got to ask that. Who's the favorite? <sighs> well. <laughs> My mother doesn't discriminate. We're going to leave that on the floor. Okay, love it. <laughs> we equally get cursed out. Let's just move Cross on. Let's just move on. That topic. <laughs> All right, so I do, you know, a lot of people say that R&B is dead. That is uh, definitely not the case. And we've recently had lots of conversations with amazing R&B artists here on Sister Circle, and, and, and namely Avery Sunshine. When we asked her about, you know, her watching the billboards, here's what she had to say. Billboard Awards took place last night. And neither one of us watched it. It's all right. Well, that was my next Don't question. Don't worry about it. Right. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Tell me no, 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 no why. Let me tell you why. why. Yeah, please. The, we are not normally represented. Right. Mm. So it's not super interesting to see the same people over, and we love them. Yes. Yeah, right. But... You know, oh, and we, I get it. It's the business. You right. know, our names aren't necessarily big enough for people to turn on the. Right. We get it. It's business. Uh, so they say. But the right. talent. Get it. But the talent is bigger. What are your thoughts on that? With like amazing good music, music for, and th these are our own artists saying we're just not recognized. What well, I love Avery. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta disagree. Okay. Um, it's easy to blame record labels. It's easy to blame you know, the award shows, but we have to put a lot on the consumer. Okay. Because r &B is not dead, it's alive. And the African American purchasing power is the strongest it's ever been. So the consumer has to go out there and buy the music. The consumer has to drive the, the momentum. Black music literally is black power. Mm -hmm. And we've seen this, you, you, we quit the boycott. Right. Mm -hmm. But we won't buy a CD. Come on now. Mm. So, okay. But, well, what know. about what about how on the award shows though that has really nothing to do with well, it kind of sorta has something to do with record sales. But they can choose to put anybody they want in their lineups at any time, but they just don't do it. See, and that's true because once music became a corporate enti entity, and I was talking to you guys about this in the back in late 1800s when music, you know, radio was created. Mm -hmm. Once it became a business. You can't blame the labels or these entities. However, they're driven by numbers and data, just like a corporation. Mm -hmm. So my thing is this. Let's show them with our dollars that mm. this music is still powerful. And I'll tell you this. Go overseas. Go global. Go to France, the U.K., South Africa. They, they love R&B. Black music is alive. And like yeah. Selena, when we did a South African tour, 15,000 people wow. in the festival, all of them singing her words. All yes, the yes. words. Come here, it's like... Uh, Hello. Well, well I'll you know. tell you, coming from radio, and Rashawn, you can relate to this Absolutely. because that's where our roots are. Uh, you know, part of the, and I was a music director for many years, mm -hmm. which means that we <gasps> decide what's, yep. what gets presented yep. to mm -hmm. play on the radio. But I want to I wanna explain this because people say, I turn on the radio, I hear the same 10 songs mm -hmm. over yeah. and over again. Mm -hmm. So it's like they're mm -hmm. stuffing it down our throat and telling us mm -hmm. what's going to be popular. Right. Mm -hmm. Really, it's what the record labels are pushing because when they come into those music meetings, they say, these are our yep. priorities. 
art. Yep. Yeah. But I say, I love this artist over here. You guys aren't pushing this artist. Yeah. These are the priorities, and this is where the dollars come from. And, and Meaning uh, we're going to advertise on your station if you support. Mm -hmm. Right. These yeah, artists. That's and true, this is where right. I'll blame that's the labels because I've seen that they happen. will put money where they think well, they the cash feel. cow is. Right. And there's actually a theory around that, which we, we're not going to get into. But right. the cash cows are pop music and rock music. Mm -hmm. But so I'll blame them on that. And also, when you think about it, they do have the power to push the music. But they say that the consumer wants the cash cow, right. the, the pop music or the rock gotcha. or, or So country. they're creating the narrative. There, there's Absolutely. a handful of people at any given record label who are the ones who dictate Dictating. what becomes popular. And mm -hmm. that's just the truth. That is. They're sitting there in their office saying, this is who we love, who we feel, it's and good. this is who we feel is going to be universally appealing. Yeah. So we're going to take X million dollars and put it behind pushing and marketing them while some of the super talented mm -hmm. people get overlooked. And it, it is a business. And that's I'll what tell it is. You, it's not fair, but it's business. I'll tell you this, too. I've also uh, been privy to information that has revealed that um, some of the artists that are not the quote unquote uh, money making artists, mm -hmm. they'll use the other artists as write offs for mm -hmm. the company. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. as a consumer, how do we combat that? Like, yeah, what that's can a great, I do great as question. a consumer? Well, I tell, well, on the art, let me first address the artist side. The artist has to just stay, first of all, positive, okay, mm -hmm. optimistic. Focus on your live show, merchandise, live show. selling books, different revenue streams, revenue streams. Um, building your brand. Mm -hmm. The consumer has to buy music, and social media has dumbed us down. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, we're streaming now. Streaming has now surpassed album sales. Mm -hmm. And so the consumer has to, if you know that 112's album is coming out, or Selena, or, or Fantasia, or Lettucey, Kanye came go today. buy it. You know, go buy it. Yeah. And I, and I don't even media. worry about hip-hop too much, because they, they're the number one genre. They're social right. media has actually, I think, put the power back in the artist's hands, because you right. can be as successful as you are consistent yes. with your posters. Right, right. Yes. Speaking of consistency, uh, and we're talking music and money, it's only fitting that we celebrate our sister, Selena Johnson. You've been blazing your trail okay. for so long. Okay. And I just believe, I truly believe, <laughs> that everything that you have wanted for your musical career is really about to, you already are huge. I just feel like it's going to take off. Mm -hmm. And you are on the cover of Ad Atlanta. And we have that. It's amazing color. Yeah! Yeah! Side of music. Yes. Yes. This is a, I'm proud of this. Let this is one of the most. Y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> Y'all get on my Ooh, nerves. I love it. Yes. Wait, are you naked? Yeah. I am. I'm yes. naked. I am it, naked. Is, it is a trench coat. Yes. It's, I got on a coat. Let the baby hold her own. Oh, <laughs> <magazine. laughs> oh, look at it. No, this is cute. cute. Oh, Sign it. Yes. That's cute. Guys, I've never said, oh my God. That's really good. Congratulations. Well, thank you so much to Ad Atlanta for this is their first issue. Yes. Yes. So I'm kicking off their, their magazine Naked. issues. Um, and I'm so honored to be, they were such amazing people to work with. Mm. It was such a fun time. I was very yeah. nervous about being naked. But you look but amazing. Thank you. Yeah. And you know what? Um, I'm into having a body and being a black woman and having curves. And I hope that this is encouraging yes, to all women of all mm. sizes. Yes. So, yay! Yes! Because I'm cute. Yes, or whatever. Like, you're cute or whatever. <laughs> yes, you are. And so is your amazing sister. Yes. Yes. You're a beautiful woman. Thank you, Thank you. so much for, for helping I'm our funny. sister and being exactly who you are. We love you, Alicia. You guys gotta have me back. Yes. You gotta get copies of her books, Rhythm Without Blues, and the Encyclopedia of African American Music by visiting drcelicia.com.